Hi everybody, it's Bobby from My Life Blogged and welcome to the first video in my new series Windows 8 Made Easy. And this video is going to be about how to make groups on on your Windows 8 start screen. Before I get started, I do want to tell you that there is a link to the blog post in the description box. This link will take you to a post that will explain the series and what you can expect from it. I also want to let you know that this video is geared more towards kids, non-tech savvy people, and people like my dad who are 70 years young and are just starting to learn how to work a computer and Windows 8. You may be asking yourself if you do know a lot about Windows 8 is why do I need to make groups on my Windows 8 start screen when I can just pin my programs to my taskbar or my apps to my taskbar or have everything on my desktop. Well, I can tell you from the fact that I've been using the Windows 8 I'm now using Windows 8.1. I've been using both since they came out. That there is a lot that you can do on Windows 8 that will make your start screen a lot more productive, free up a lot of space on your taskbar and your desktop. And I think once you really start using it, you will start to love it just as much as I do. In fact, I really don't think I could go back to the old Windows even if I had to, even though I do have a start button. So let's just go ahead and get started. I, I'm going to bring up my Windows 8 start screen. I will tell you that I cheated a little bit. Um, I did take my Windows 8.1 start screen back to default so I could do the groups with you. But I cheated a little bit and already grouped a lot of the programs that were going to make groups together. So that way I wouldn't take up too much time. So as you can see, it's kind of um, unorganized in a way. And what I want to show you first is how to pin your apps and your programs to your start menu for the groups. So I'm going to go down here to my apps and I'm going to pick a couple that I already don't have. And all I'm going to do is right click on it and then I'm going to lift, oh, oh I already have that one. I'm sorry. Let's see, what do I not have? Oh, I know I don't have Kindle. So I'm going to right click on it and then I'm going to left click to pin to start. And as you can see, here it is. I'll do it again to show you. Um, I see what else don't I have up here I don't have code writer up here so I am going to right click it and I'm going to left click to pin to start and as you can see there it is so so I have them up here if I want to group them so how do I make these famous groups that I'm talking about well it's quite simple if you look at your keyboard everybody look at your keyboard if you look down at the first row or the bottom row on your keyboard I like to call it the first row but a lot of people call it the bottom row if you look at the very first key it should be a control button if it's not I swear it's in that row it's CTRL is what it says on the button you're going to hold that button down with your finger and then you are going to start left clicking on the programs you want to group together. I'm going to do Office 365 because this is the one I use all the time. I really feel that your first group should be either a set of programs, a set of apps, or any any kind of apps and programs even if they're mixed up that you use constantly and I use Office 365 from the time I get up in the morning until I go to bed it's constantly up on my computer so I like to make that my first group so what I did was I held down the control button with my finger and I left click to select everything I'm going to let go of the control button and then I'm going to left click and I'm going to drag it until I see this white line right here that white line lets me know that it's okay to drop because it's going to be a group so I'm dropping it and you can name your groups I'll show you how to do that in a little bit but let's keep going Alright, so next I'm going to do my photography because I do a lot of editing photos for the blog and I do a lot of sharing of, of um, photos. So I'm going to make that my second group. So all I'm going to do again is hold down the control button with my finger, left click to select my photos, my photo apps and software, and I'm just going to left click until I have them all selected and then I am going to left click and drag until I see that white line there it is and I'm gonna drop so there's my photos and I'm gonna do one more just to show you that I'm going and I'm actually gonna leave out WordPad this time because I wanna show you something but 
I'm going to do my computer suite next. So I'm going to hit the control button and I'm going to left click again until I select all of them. I'm going to let the control button go. I'm going to left click and I'm going to drag until I see the white line and then I'm going to drop it. Now, okay, so say you have all of your, your programs and your software um, grouped together. I have a lot more work to do. I have a lot more to do. But say you have them all grouped together, and but you download or you find a new piece of software that fits in the group, or, and but you've already got a group. So what do you do? It's super simple. All you do is left click on the program or the app, and you drag it until you get into the group, and then you drop it. Now, another thing that is really interesting is that you can resize your tiles. So say I want my word pad to be the same size as my store and my calculator. Then I just right click and I resize to small. Now some, I believe this one, yeah, this one, some of them you can resize to wide, large, small, or medium. Some are just small and medium. It really depends on the app and the software. So I'm actually going to keep that one the size it is, and I'm going to keep the desktop the size it is. But I really like my store to be a little bigger so I can find it. So I'm going to make that one wide also. And then if I want, if I want to rearrange, say I want my camera to be first, all I do is left click and drag until I get it to where I want it. So that's all I do. So you can rearrange them, resize them, make them look how you want them to look. Now, you can also, you can keep adding to the group and it will just pop up over here. If you get down to the bottom and you can't add any more at the bottom, it'll still be grouped and it'll just pop up over here. So how do I name my groups? Well, that's a very good question. And you want to name your groups because say, um, I know kids, you're not going to have a kid, but say... Um, non-tech savvy people, you want to let your child use your laptop. I'm actually doing this on a laptop because my all-in-one desktop died a couple of months ago and I'm on the lookout for a new one. But say you want to let somebody use your laptop or your desktop. They're going to look at all this. They're going to be like, oh, this is great, but what are they? You know, what is this group? Now, some of them are going to be self-explanatory. Some of them's not. Like, you know, like if you have... Um, like some obscure programs that you've been using for years, they may not know what they are. So you want to try to name your groups because number one, it's just a good organization skill. And number two, it lets other people know what the group is. And it's really easy to name your groups. You're just going to, you can um, do this anywhere. You can right click anywhere. I'm just going to right click here and name groups. The first one I am going to name Office 365. Oh. What the heck am I doing there? 365. And then this one I'm going to name Photography. And then this one I'm going to name my Computer Suite. You know, and then of course, say that I'm going to keep this a group and I'm going to add Twitter and Instagram and any kind of social groups that I use or social apps that I use. Then I'm just going to name, I'm going to go ahead and name this one social because that's what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to use that for my social media sites. So, you know, it's really easy. And then when people see, when I let somebody else use my computer, they automatically know what these are. And I do too. So if I, if I, you know, when I get all of mine organized, it'll be a huge scroll bar. You know, I can just scroll and I don't even have to look at the apps or the programs. I just scroll until I find the group that I want just by the name. So as you can see, it's really easy. I hope I didn't rush through it. Please feel free to watch it again and pause where you need to. Um, I didn't really want to make it a very long video because I know every everybody's really busy in life and you don't have time to sit down and watch a, a really long video. If you have any questions though, please feel free to leave me a comment down below or you can comment on the blog post or you can send me an email. My contact information is on my blog. I hope you have a great day and I will see you next video. Bye.